Lord, come in the name of Jesus. So for the late group of us that by six, with some technical problems, but we are all welcome in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Just open up your mouth and just begin to say, Father, thank you. Just open up your mouth and just begin to say, quickly, just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for the privilege and honor for me to be found in your beautiful presence this evening. Even as we're about to spend time in your presence, even as we're about to do the meaningful thing today, we ask the Lord for your guidance, we ask the Lord for your presence, we ask the Lord that you take over, we ask the Lord that you do what no man can do. Have your way, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Quickly just say, Father, do not let me go empty tonight. As I call upon you, do not let me go empty. I refuse to go empty. Father, I refuse to go empty. I refuse to go empty. Yes, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Hallelujah. We open the service in the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We can require just a few minutes to lead us into one worship as the servant of God gets ready. Amen.
this opportunity you have given unto us. You can agree with me that we are running on the front day of the Lord. Show me your way. I greet you all in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth and pray with me tonight. We are all for prayers. I want you to say, Father Lord God, I thank you for this privilege. I thank you for this opportunity you have given unto me. Thank you, Lord, for the strength of a Sunday. Thank you for Monday. Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. Father Lord God, thank you tonight. Thank you this morning, O God. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping my brother. Thank you for helping my sister. You Lord, you saw us through on Sunday. You will be us on Monday, Tuesday, Lord. Today is Wednesday. I want to return all the glory back to you. And I will say thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I want you to pray as well also with me. So, oh Lord, my God, tonight I want you to show me, oh Lord, your way. In every area of my life in this 2021. In the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. I want you to pray. I want you to talk to your father. I want you to tell him that you are, he has helped you to come into the year 2021. Let him show him know his way. Let him show him know his way. Not other man's way. Not the old man's way. But his way alone. I want you to say, Father Lord, show me your way. In everything I do, everywhere I go, you show me your way, O Lord my God. And let your name alone be glorified. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray with me, say, Holy Spirit of God. I want you to dwell in me in wisdom and in understanding and in all manifestation in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. And the Holy Spirit of God to dwell inside you in this year 2021 in wisdom and understanding in all manifestation in every area of your life so that the power of God will be made active and will manifest in your life. The Bible led us to know for this reason the Son of Man was made manifest that he will destroy the works of the devil. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. That the spirit of the Lord will be made manifest in your life. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I want you to pray with me. The Bible led us to know that men always ought to pray and not to faint. Say, O Lord my God, to our this year 2021 and beyond. Let your spirit walk and make me and my family to stand out tall in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Stand out tall. Stand out tall. Stand out tall. Stand out tall for your Savior, for your God. He who has created you, who has brought you, has helped you to come this far. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus Christ, there we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. As I said, today is our fourth day, and uh, we are looking at a topic that says, Oh Lord, my God, raise a standard against every enemy of my life. Hallelujah. We are not talking about, we are not praying about cars, work, and you know, what you can think of. We are asking God to raise a standard against our enemies, Amen. every enemy of our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that you and I, as a human being, we have enemies, whether truth or false. The fact remains that we have enemies. An enemy can be an adversary, man or woman, anything that can turn or stop or even hinder you. An enemy can be something that can frustrate or even take your life. Praise the Lord. So in this life, I want us to pray. I want us to ask God tonight to hinder, to stop anything that can, that presents itself as an enemy against us. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight we are going to pray. We are going to ask God to help us. We are going to ask God to stop any force, in any form, anyhow, in any time, any point in time, to stop, to frustrate anything that raises its ugly as an enemy against us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my God, oh Lord, my God, I thank you for what you have done in my life. I thank you for, you for my family. Thank I thank you, you for the body of Christ. Tonight, I'm asking you, oh Lord, to help me, oh Father, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord, to raise a standard in my life. Help me, oh Lord,
of the enemy against my life in the name of Jesus. I want you to join the prayer. Tell you to pray and tell, tell your God. Every enemy, every enemy, in any form, in any way, in any pattern, at any point in time, that want to come against you, that want to hinder you, that want to make you come down, that want to break you, want to do what God wants you to be. This is the moment, this is the hour that we pray. As for as in, to raise a standard, to raise a standard in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name we pray, in Jesus mighty name we pray, I want you to pray with me, say so Lord my God, every enemy of my life, every enemy of my existence, raise the standard against them, in this year 2021, in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer, turn it to prayer. Every enemy, everything that wants to stand against you, anything that wants to come against your existence, as a human being, God is to to the fulfillment of God's plan for you. This is the hour, as the Lord the call, to raise a standard, to raise a standard against them, in the name of Jesus, that they will not succeed, that they will not have a way. That they will not come and have to throw over the life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, in this 2021 and beyond, we ask you, Father, every enemy, everything that prevents enemy, Father, will go with the standard against them. In Jesus' Christ, we pray. So, Lord, my God, every enemy of my husband, every enemy of my family, every enemy of my business, my career, so the standard against them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. The enemy of your business, the enemy of your family, those things that want you to be stagnant, that want to stop your family, that want to stop your career as a man, that want to stop your business, that want to stop your growth, that want to put you down. The Lord says, Go on the stand up against them tonight. I want you to pray, open your mouth. The Bible may be to know that whatever the enemy speaks to his ear, that same thing will go on to you. As you go over to not to raise a standard against every career, everything that wants to stop your career, everything that wants to stop you as a man, everything that wants to stop your family in this 2021 and beyond. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, this is our prayer tonight. We are not a man or a man that we can lie, or a son of man that we can repent for what we have said. But our Lord and my God, you have promised your God, and we bring it to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. So, Lord, my God, everything that represents an enemy, in any time, may it be sickness, may it be poverty, may it be hardship, may it be frustration, may it be lukewarmness, may it be sin. So, now, so Lord, my God, raise the standard against me, because you have promised. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Anything that represents enemy, anything that wants to prove that he or she is that enemy, being a man or a woman, being a boy or a girl, whatever it might be, to have an enemy that will put you in the name of Jesus. And I don't have to and he will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. He will make the standard against them. And they shall worry no more in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Savior tonight, in this 2021 and beyond, Father of God, we have promised and we are waiting for you, Lord, you will have this today that will bring all of the promises to pass unto your children in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, we will thank you, O God, because you have said it, O God, and you have done it. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' name we pray. So, oh Lord, my God, every enemy, in form of failure, in form of disappointment, in form of disorganization, inconsistency, hardship, struggles, poverty, like I said before, frustration, when they stand out against them, begin to confess that. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and confess. Open your mouth and confess that. The Lord is here. 
in this 2021 and beyond the world like that. In the name of Jesus. Father of God, we thank you. Let's be a holy and righteous man. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray in a different dimension tonight. We're going to ask God to help us. You know, we're going to pray against this pandemic. Hallelujah. You can agree with me that for the past eight, nine months now, this pandemic has turned to be an enemy. Praise the Lord. It has stood like a huge Goliath in the lives of people. So tonight we're going to pray and come against it. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to pray, open your mouth, come against the spirit of COVID. COVID-19. If you are following the puppet on media, that's the one that calling for COVID-1, D2. We're going to say, God, the enemy of COVID, raise the standard against it. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In any group, in any world, in any hospital, in every family, in the lives of individuals, my and my God, we pray against COVID. It's an enemy. Raise the standard against it. Raise the standard against it. Raise the standard against it. In the name of Jesus, in the church, in the body of Christ, in the lives of the people, men and women, boys and girls. Holy Spirit of God, Spirit of God, pandemic, God of my God, this virus, we come against you in the name of Jesus. We pray as a church, as a body of Christ, we stand against you. Keep people no more, and infect people no more in the name of Jesus. Father of my God, we say, Lord oh my Father, have the Lord of God, you know, in this situation, and make them for yourself. Thank you, my Father and my Savior. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I want you to pray, open your mouth tonight. I want you to pray for our educators and educators are watching us from online. I want you to begin to pray for yourself. If you are a learner, if you are a worker in the government official, you know, everywhere you find yourself a state security, I want you to pray that God will help you. This enemy, this virus will not take your life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in every area of our economy. This COVID will not take over, will not stand against it. Our frontline workers, all the nation at large, all the members of the executive, the government, the, the, the premiers, our president, those people that are important and placed position of authority, follow God. We pray that this enemy COVID will not come against them, will not take their life, because this is so plan for us. We pray that God will ask you to raise the standard against them in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, thank you all for tonight. Let's be a holy and righteous man. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Finally, I want us to begin to thank God. The book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, made me to understand we should be anxious of nothing. Hallelujah. But true prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, present your requests unto him. Hallelujah. I want you to thank God tonight. We need to appreciate him. Thank you, Father, I thank you. Thank you for this prayer. Thank you for these supplications. And we will bring you our thanks and our giving. Because you have helped us. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you want a prayer request wherever you are, I want you to raise it up before your Father. He that has created you, He has made you. Because it's unto Him alone that you have written. You didn't write to me or to the pastor or to any other person. You have written to your Father who created the heavens and earth. I want you to pray with me. Say, so, Lord my God, Father, tonight we thank you for this privilege. Thank you for this opportunity in this 2021. Because you have begun showing us your way. Father, this request are written only unto you, as I have written up, O oh Lord, to you. You that answer us prayer, you that sees, O oh God, you that hears, Lord, you that does marvelous and wondrous things. Father, we ask you, God, to do as you normally do and answer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, everything that is written, every pain, every body, every heart desires, my Lord, my God. You know them before they started writing, before they were written. Father, I pray tonight that you make yourself manifest, that you show yourself stronger, that you stay away behind everything, and the glory of Lord shall be returned unto you. Thank you, eternal work of ages, because it has pleased you. 
Thank you, Lord. We are righteous men. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for praying with us among us. This is the Power Restoration Worship Center International. Where God is changing the total life of mankind. Hallelujah. I want you to join us. Like us on our Facebook, our Instagram, our WhatsApp, you know, our social media. And partner with us in the thing God is doing in our lives. Amen. And I want to encourage you and I want to assure you that your life will never remain the same Amen. in this 2021. And I break on you and ask you to stay fight and remain up terrible in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Let's try the grace of fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sinfulness of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I wrote you all. I shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. You shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. And we shall not die, even this day to the world, to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hi, and welcome to our service. If you're new here, you may be wondering who we are and what this church is all about. Well, the heart of the matter is this. We're a group of people doing our best to love God and love those around us. One of the ways we express this love is through worship, because our God is truly amazing. He created everything, great and small, and His love for us is incredible, powerful, and completely unconditional. We also spend time looking into His Word, the Bible, and receive practical teaching to guide us along His path in our everyday lives. But it doesn't end when the service is over. Throughout the week, we gather in groups to serve, pray, reach out to our community, and sometimes just to hang out and have fun. Life is full of challenges, and none of us are perfect. But we believe that's one of the reasons God has brought us together. We're all here to help and support each other through each step of life's journey, because nobody should have to travel alone. So thanks for joining us today. No matter who you are, we want you to know you are welcome.